Good afternoon. Actually, almost good evening. Oh, there we go. Let's get the camera tilted right. Cool. Um, welcome to Daily Broadcast. This is episode number 580. Um, topic today is Happy New Year, more resolution busting. So I'll get to that in a second. So let me choose myself first and then also bring up to date. So my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I'm strong, successful, and high achieving women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which has inspired these talks for the last two years plus, um, certainly for the last year and a half daily broadcasts, called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today's topic is a follow-up from yesterday's talk, which was, uh, yesterday was January 1st, hence the Happy New Year preface, prefix, that sort of thing. Um, and I talked then about, um, instead of doing Instead of doing resolutions, and I did a definition resolution, which gives you some pause for thought, I hope, I offered the idea of doing intentions with affirmations. And I may go back to that as well in this broadcast, but I want to speak further on the same topic because writing out a bunch of resolutions on a piece of paper and sticking to the wall, well, better than sticking to the drawer, is a limited approach to setting up your year for success. This is a brand new year. Like, ta-da, welcome to January 2nd, 2019. This is a brand new year, so it's a clean slate in some ways. Although I was realizing today when I, um, and I, in full disclosure, I'm doing my broadcast an hour late because I actually went to a movie earlier and it wouldn't end in time. Full disclosure. Um, I actually went to see Aquaman finally, which I wanted to go see for a while because I had to like that sort of escapist fun light entertainment. And I figured, you know what? It's a weekday, why not treat myself? So I did. But I was out in the world on the way back from the movie and just saw all people back at it again. And if you're like these people, I, I, my heart goes out to you. Those people have basically gone back to the nine to five job. And they're in the same mundane thing they were when they, before Christmas or before the weekend, because they may have been at work after Christmas, I don't know. But taking the time to plan the year up, coming up, planning the year ahead rather, that's already underway, is a lot of things people, a lot of these things people don't do. A lot of people out there, and maybe not you, but people you know, Basically, may blast out some resolutions on maybe December 31st even, or January 1st, and then went back to work and forgot all about what they wrote a day ago, yesterday. And that, unfortunately, is not boding well for long-term success in this world. So what I want to throw, in, throw what I want to offer to you today in this broadcast, following up from the affirmations and intentions of yesterday, is a couple of pieces you can do, or a couple of... Couple of um, methods or processes you can do to help you set up your, your year for success. So just recapping yesterday briefly, I know I had to bring that in again, is I talked about how the power of intention, which is actually the title of a great book by the way, um, well The Power of Intention by Jack Canfield and The Intention Experiment by Ben Twist, two good books, I'm going to give you both of those. Intention is a powerful tool way more powerful than the resolution conversation. In fact, resolutions, as I said, and I, I don't remember the quotes, I, I mean, I don't remember the definition I used yesterday because it was on the screen, I don't have it on the screen right now. But I mentioned in my um, chat <laughs> yesterday that it was really about focusing on the steps to get to a goal in a way that wasn't working. And it wasn't really a powerful way of doing things. The power of intention is you declare where you want to go and you give all of the um, opportunities for spirits influence how that happens, which is way more powerful. Affirmations take those intentions and bring them into the present moment. Because intention saying, my intention is to have this, 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 and this, or to do this, this, and this, or to be this, this, and this, whatever that is. Or have to be there for those who keep track, keeping track. Whereas affirmations are declaring, I'm already in, already being, already doing, already having that. There's a difference for a reason. The power of intention is to guide your steps forward where you want to go. My intention this year is to be speaking on stage at large events, to sharing and inspiring lots of people, women especially, and opening their hearts and being more comfortable in their true natures of being authentic in their feminine. That's my intention. My affirmation, if I was using affirmation on the same theme, just to do it without any scripting, is I'm loving being on stage, sharing my heart, inspiring women to live in their hearts 
to empower me to be inspired and to be doing amazing work in the world. I'm grateful for the opportunity to do so. It's a little shift, but in affirmation, it's putting it in the present moment. And that's what I'm saying is I am doing that now versus the intention is, my intention is to have this this year. You can use it, again, I'm just gonna confuse myself now, confuse you as well. You can do an intention saying, I'm intending for this to happen now, but it doesn't work that way. Intentions, frankly, are laying out the direction you wanna go in with the goal in mind without any idea how you're gonna get there. That's the power of um, divine inspiration, so to speak. So that was yesterday. <laughs> Let's get on to today. So today's reminder, suggestion, encouragement, is to do a couple of things that you probably already know about, but maybe not in this focus. One of which is, um, well, simply put, it's like a mind map. Actually, no, yeah, no, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. I've got two things to give you, you're the wrong. Well, I'll, I'll do the first, mind maps. If you don't know what mind map is, it's usually a, it's, it's used a lot of times in business to um, brain dump and brainstorm ideas. So in mind maps, and I'm actually gonna give you something different from that, but I'm gonna start as that platform. Mind map starts with an idea in the middle of the page, so a little circle in the middle of the page, and you're writing there, maybe it's um, about your relationship plans. So finding love in the, in the middle. And then off of that, that central hub, you write, you draw spokes off of it, or, write each, or a, even a light, a sweet line if you wanna drive that way. And you write on that, that spoke, something to do with that theme. So finding love is the, is the core, then you just write on the spokes, things that come to mind randomly and spontaneously around that topic. So maybe you write something like meeting new people, going on the dating apps, practicing self-love, buying Barry's program, hint, hint. <laughs> Whatever it is, and you keep writing those spokes all the way out. That's a mind map. Now, what I'm suggesting is something I learned at my graduate school at the University of Santa Monica. They would do a thing called ideal scenes that look like mind maps, but they're different. So a mind map is a central circle with something in it, a theme, a title, a topic, that you then write the spokes all the way off as you're writing. A mind map is much more, sorry, a, an ideal scene is much more strategic. You start with the middle with, you, if you're not, on, well, you do it at USM, which I love, is you use a heart shape instead of a circle, so it's a bit more loving centered. You write the thing in the middle, or you write I am if you wanna be really spiritual about it, and you put the title at the top, but you put I am, and then you put spokes out from the center that are thought out, clarification, present tense, affirmative statements. So when I said yesterday about affirmations, that's what you're using today. In this ideal scene format, you choose a topic, maybe again it's finding love, and you put on those lines emanating from the central heart shape, different affirmations about that topic for you. Now I recommend you write these down somewhere else, maybe on a piece of paper, just writing them out as statements. Like say, I, I'm loving the fact that I'm in, in relationship now. I'm, I love my exploration to meet new people. Um, I'm joyfully in love with myself, all those different things. And then when you find the way you want to word them perfectly, or I, not perfectly, but as best you want to as you can, you transfer them onto the spokes around that heart. That's what, I, what US, University, University, of Santa, sorry, that's what University of Santa Monica calls an ideal scene. It's a powerful tool especially when you affirm it and you read them and you put them somewhere you can see them every day. And each one of those, by the way, is a different topic. So you don't put, you don't put your whole life on one ideal scene unless you don't know what topic you want to talk about, in which case you start with the topic in the middle, which is your life, and then you put the spokes around it of all the areas of life you want to put a focus on, say for this year. Maybe there's three, maybe there's 10. But you write down on the spokes what those areas are, then you create an ideal scene for each one of those spokes, subdividing down. So that's one, one um, powerful way of, of setting up your year, affirming what you want for the year and how you want to manifest it. Let's give me the second one. The second one is something else you probably already know about. Um, you may have known them as collages, or what they're really known as is um, vision boards. So if you've never heard of a vision board before, it's basically a collage, <laughs> but it's more directional than that. So a vision board is something that you can do, that people do workshops on this stuff, which is fine. Um, frankly, all you need so you do this on your own time, and you get some friends together, do it in your living room at your house if you want to do this. Is you get basically an idea of foam core or poster board, something that's a fairly big shape, like three foot by four foot, that's that's basically fairly car like thickness, so it's so it's fairly um so what we call dense, so it doesn't flip, doesn't fold easily. So you can then put it on the wall if you want to. And also then you get lots of magazine cuttings. Now, things have changed over the last few years because now you can go and do a, a Google or a web search for images that you can then print out and cut out as well. It used to be just magazines like a collage. 
you cut out words and, and statements and pictures and images that are evocative. And the thing with a vision board is most people don't know how to do them right. Oh my God, people don't know how to do them right? Yes, it's true. So let me give you the ways to do it right, the simple steps. First of all, everything you put on the vision board must be positive direction. So you don't put things out like if you, for example, you want to be healthy, you don't find a picture of a circle with a line through it for smoking saying, to say no smoking. That's not affirmative, that's negative. So you can put everything on the vision board that is affirmative, that's first. Secondly, I highly recommend you do a vision board for each, like I said earlier with the ideal scenes, do a vision board for each particular topic. You can do one for your whole life and do a quadrant for each part of your life, but it can get really busy. If you really want to get powerful energy moving in one particular area, do a vision board on that one particular area. So again, something specific, maybe it's relationship. So then you put pictures around the, the vision board, excuse me, <clears throat> that evoke the feelings you want to have when you're in relationship. Joy, happiness, wonder, glory, love, passion, sex, whatever that is for you. And you put it on the vision board. Now the vision board can be in your own space and private, so you can do as much as you want with it. It's not going to be in public display unless you want it to be. That's two. So the third part is that vision board must include a picture of you. Because a vision board isn't yours until you own it. And putting a picture of you in the middle of the vision board is your ownership of that vision board. It's actually stating, this is about me. That's the intention. Now, a couple of things. It must be a picture of you on your own, because it's a vision board for you, not for you and somebody else. Unless you're a couple, then you can do a vision board, maybe doing a vision board for a house, for the two of you, then you put a picture of the two of you in the middle. That's a, that's a different spin in a way if you're doing it for a couple. But for individuals, picture of yourself in the middle. And please make sure it's a picture that you like of you. So ideally one of you happy, smiling, sober, <laughs> etc., etc. And fairly recent, so it connects to you. Because the thing about it is putting that picture on the vision board is for you to connect to the vision board yourself. So if that picture is of you 10 years ago, you may not connect to it as well. But if the picture on the vision board is current from, let's say, last week or last month or last year, and it's happy, picture of you, and you go, and you feel that joy inside of you because when you look at the picture, it reminds me of that moment, then the vision board comes more alive. Three, fourth. Just remember the points. As I mentioned, the pictures need to be affirmative. So do the words. So putting on the, on the vision board can be just pictures alone, but you can put words on there as well. That again, you can print out of the computer or you could cut out of magazine pictures. Maybe just affirmative words about being in love and wonderful adventures or loyalty and monogamy, whatever those words are. Again, positive direction words, just as much as the positive direction pictures. A vision board is a positive declaration of your intention. So make sure everything on it is positive direction. Kind of simple, yes? So that's the vision board. So vision board, ideal scenes, those two things I'm giving you today will absolutely transform your intention for this year if you're looking to build a vision that will transform your life. If you're working on particular areas that are important to you, I advise you to do one of each for that area. So if you're working on a new career, perhaps something much more close to heart maybe, or more life-changing, I'd recommend putting something into the vision board and into the ideal scenes. You have both of them, um, tuned to affirm what you want. This is a much better way of changing the future for your life than resolutions will ever be. I think that's really it. <laughs> what I said yesterday and today will transform your life. And if you do these two things, these actually four things over the last two days, I can guarantee you this life's gonna be this year's gonna be much more powerful than last year. It will change your life and it'll be much more much more um, aligned to your values, your heart and your intentions than just doing the resolutions. So I think that's giving enough to work with. If you have any questions about this, please send a message, send me a message. I do have um, the ideal scene. I've got my own version of the ideal scene um, graphic. I can send you that as a PDF if you want it. And you can then build that for yourself. So um, send me a message over social media or drop, um, go to my website, which is barryselby.com forward slash contact. And you can just send me a message over that way and I'll send you the information. Um, a vision board, you know how to do that, simple enough, again, poster board or phone core with pictures, glue, oh yeah, by the way, yeah, glue and scissors, you need those as well. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's not going to be hard. So lots, if you can find magazines, that's great, and the thing is, most people don't have magazines much anymore, so you may want to go on the web and search for images and text that you can print out, cut out, and then put on there as well. Magazines are better because, one, because they're glossy, they stick better with glue than paper off a printer, because that tends to get um, absorbent to the glue. but. I'm getting to, to the mundane, the technical stuff, but this is the truth. 
if you do magazines that's just something that connects differently it's really strange that when you pick, print out pictures from the computer for most people it doesn't connect as much to the heart as when you collect magazine art pictures images from magazines something about that because marketing no i mean people advertising know what they're doing they're marketing to you in a way that lands so use that to your advantage take out the pictures and the images from the magazines that really speak to you and then use them in your vision board so you can speak to what you want to create in your life all right and i think that's about it this is a rush one a bit in the way so i want to get this out to you before too late um i was a bit late tonight as i said i'm going to see a movie my choice not 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 apologizing just what i chose but i'll be back in tomorrow probably 5 p.m pacific time be your usual time and um we'll see what that's about i don't have any plans for tomorrow yet for what i'll talk about but i definitely invite you to look in deeper into what you want for this year it's still the second of january plenty of time to plan for your year to actually affirm what you want to create and have as an amazing year so with that thank you for watching oh uh, please share this with anybody you think should see this also this is my daily facebook live so you can watch this on my business page and also youtube and also my podcast i'll give you the links for those so and by the way if you didn't realize i just gave you a bunch of homework so take it on you'll love it and also let me know how it goes i'd love to be post love you, love you keep me posted on what you discover and what you find for yourself when you do this so having said that replays this is my facebook live on my personal page first then goes on to my youtube channel and then that's my podcast on facebook i share these out on my personal page that goes on to my business page so the links for that my personal page is facebook.com forward slash barry selby my business page is facebook.com forward slash barry selby dot author as you find all these connected together because my personal page has other stuff all over it so find them on my business page on facebook on youtube my youtube channel is barry selby as is all my social media and you can please subscribe to my youtube channel and then you can go to my um my playlist which is messages from the masculine watch my broadcast there um and thirdly my podcast which is also called messages from the masculine on itunes you can subscribe to that and download the audios to listen to when you're running around doing other things where watching the screen doesn't work for you and with that i thank you for watching again i appreciate you taking this to heart and trying these on um I mentioned in the middle of this somewhere about uh, you might be doing my program so I'll put links in the, the comments for those just so you know what they are for my self-love practice and for ladies for the attracting the man you want this year that's your vision this will help you and uh, I think that's it yeah I think that's it I appreciate you watching please share it with anybody you think should come should should see it and if you have any questions or thoughts please put it in the comments below and I'll sign I'll respond when I sign off thanks for being with me once again I'll see you again tomorrow take care of yourself